Take a deep breath. Unclench your jaw. Roll your shoulders. Let's do this. Hey, it says what? Thanks very much for stopping by my channel. You know, I always thank you for watching my videos, leaving me a like or a comment and subscribing. But I also wanted to give a really big thank you to all of you YouTube creators who take your very valuable time to make a video for me to watch. You know, there's uploading, there's recording, there's thinking about what you want to talk about or what to record. You know, some like to edit and other things like that. And then, you know, the upload time and just managing your videos. It takes a lot of time and effort. And I really appreciate it. You know, I'm on YouTube <laughs> a lot. And, um, you know, I watch a lot of videos, a lot of hand, a lot of handbag related videos. And, you know, you're having me going nuts over your bags and accessories, but I watch a lot of other videos as well. So I thought I would give you a little bit of insight into what happens when I change my bag. <laughs> or the thought process that I go through. I don't know, you've seen these bags before. I have this, um, forget the name of it. I have this Parker and Hyde neoprene bag. You can um, snap it closed like this or it can be a big tote. And I love the camo. And the red interior. It also came with a little extra piece. But I'm not using that bag today might use it later this week though. Well, I'll mention a few channels that might have factored into what bag I'm carrying today. I watched a video by my girl LV Lux Girl. She had um, two beautiful drawstring bags and you know I'm on a drawstring kick so I pulled out my Milu leather drawstring bag that's made of this hand-woven denim-colored leather. It has that woven detail on the front and the back. Um, if I remember, I'll include a link to my video on this bag so you can get more details. I bought it on Etsy in the summer. I really wanted a denim bag at the time and this is the one that I ended up with. But I think I heard, oh, this, ha this bag has pockets on the side, but it has pockets on both sides. I won't use them. <laughs> I rarely use my pockets either outside or inside. It has really smooth zippers. They're YKK zippers. Then I saw a video from Leah's wardrobe. I'll link her video below. 
she showed a coach turquoise bag with a coach denim charm butterfly charm so i wanted to use this charm <laughs> and it goes great with this denim blue bag But then I heard that Carlos Santana song, Smooth, that was written by and sung by Rob Thomas. And, and I decided to get out my smooth leather Mackenzie Hobo in the color charcoal. And for Mackenzie, I think I have to thank um, my girl, Dooney Addict 615 Her channel will be linked in the description. I think she was the first place I saw the Mackenzie. And I have, I think, two of these bags now. I'm going to unstuff it. So the Mackenzie is one of those bags that a lot of us say Dooney should have never stopped making. It's a large bag. It's 13 inches high, 12 inches long, and it has a depth of six plus inches. And it has a shoulder drop that can reach like 10 inches, but you can see it slouches. So you have a lot of elbow room for this bag. I was able to adjust this great equestrian strap. Um, the Mackenzie has contrasting color um, leather for the strap and on the patch. But this leather isn't super thick, and for mine anyway, I was able to do that crazy adjustment. And there's also a little bit of adjustment on the strap itself. And then it has this chunky zipper and the tassels as the zipper pull. So it has a really great slouchy look and it's just super easy to carry. Um, I have this in ocean blue and I got caught in a downpour the first time I carried it. And the leather didn't spot at all, either on this, what they call smooth leather or on the strap that's made of a different leather and like a lighter, I don't know if we call this butterscotch or not. It has this really great overlay of the same leather on the top. And then it has this bird's eye material on the inside with a zipper pocket and a slip pocket and then two slip pockets on the front wall. And I still have the stuffing that came with it. I told you I don't use my pockets at all. Oh, so back to what I was talking about. When I heard that song, Smooth, I decided I needed a smooth leather bag. And the Mackenzie also came with two other pieces. Came with a little key fob, a leather, little leather key fob, which I do not have, so I don't know where that is. But it also came with this great little wallet that is about seven and a half inches long and four inches high. And it has a zipper pocket on the front 
a zipper closure. It's a very narrow piece. And then it has three credit card slots. It's the same bird's eye material and a slip pocket on the back wall. So I believe these were sold on QVC when they came with the matching set. I bought mine off of another YouTuber, Joshi Michael, when he was selling a lot of his Dooney bags. I've had this bag for like, since 2018 or 2019. So it's kind of hard to get a feel for it, I think, when there's nothing inside, but I think it also looks great with this butterfly charm. And I like that the lighter leather that's on this butterfly, for instance, it matches the trim on this bag really nicely. So that's how I decided to carry my smooth leather Mackenzie Hobo. And I just wanted to say thanks, not only for watching, but thank you everyone who creates videos for me to watch. Take care everyone.